Hey gang, Mike here. We're going to talk about uh, an air conditioning call I went on today. The customer complaint, actually the customer wasn't there, the grandmother, <clears throat> grandmother was there and she talked to the owners on the phone and got back to me. She said, well, it's just not cooling. They see it's probably some Freon. So I'm like, well, ask them, uh, was it cooling fine the day before and then just quit? Or has it been slowly getting worse? And so oh, she talked to him and said, well, just suddenly quit. Said, okay. So first thing I did was go out to the condenser and uh, pull the side cover off. It's an old, old um, pane. It's an old pane. <laughs> yeah, I love the joke of that. Anyway, it's an old pane unit. So I pull the side cover off, and then it has a little uh, electric panel in there. Take the little electric panel cover off and um, to get the goodies reach down and my screwdriver and push the contactor in to see uh, see what happens and uh, nothing nothing at all so I checked with my uh, voltmeter I have uh, no voltage no 240 no single leg on either side to to ground <clears throat> so I pull the disconnect box uh, apart and check it in there and it's all it's all okay there no voltage so go back to the main breaker panel and I cannot find anything tripped the couldn't find an AC uh, a condenser uh, breaker marked, and but they had a heat one marked 125 uh, amps, which is fairly significant. So, so anyway, I said, uh, is there any other breaker box? She said, well, the disconnect outside and the one in the in the air handler panel. I'm like, well, let's go look in the air handler panel because I know it's not outside. Went in there and they had uh, two breakers in there in a se se separate breaker panel. And of course, one of them was tripped. So I reset that, went outside, <clears throat> put my uh, clamp on amp probe over the compressor lead, and uh, pushed the contactor in, see what happened, and it fired up. It pulled about uh, uh, 25 amps and settled down to about uh, 12 or so. The, um, the, the unit had a soft start on it, as well as a little, uh, uh, little subco. Super Boost, this exact one actually, right here, a little two wire jobby, and what does it say here? No wiring changes necessary. Relay and hard start capacitor. I might have to take this apart later just to see if what it looks like inside for fun. Anyway, so I yanked this off, thinking, okay, hard start's gone to the you know, toilet, so we'll just put a new one on. So I went to the truck and got a, a, a what brand? Did I have? It's a five two one. I don't remember the, the company brand, but. It's a three-wire hard start, uh, potential relay, and capacitor. <clears throat> that I find working very well. Installed that, and um, you know, pushed the contactor in uh, to see with an amp, amp probe on it, and to see what happened. This time it pulls 45 amps on startup and settles down. I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> I'm like, well, I know it's not my hard start kit, uh, most likely. What else is going on here? So I. I look up and and this uh, little soft start POS uh, you can Google POS if you want if you don't get it is in there this little uh, this worthless device is in there and sometimes I'll see these burned up uh, melted apart this looks like it has some discoloration on the bottom of it. Uh, from probably from overheating so I thought well let's yank that out so I cut the power again and uh, I pull this out and uh, and it's hot two quick starts and this thing is hot to the touch burning to the touch I put it down it was so hot so anyway just left that out and had the three wire hard start in there potential relay and cap Push the contactor in, and uh, fires right up uh, between 12 and uh, 15 amps on the meter, and settles down. Perfect. So this little monster here was the culprit. I, I at the time I didn't think about it, but I should have for fun put the uh, subco back in, and uh, and gave it a shot just to see just to see the amp draw difference on it from uh, from the other one after a little cool down time but uh, but I'll leave the three wire on there anyway that's um, that was it you know even though the part looked perfectly good physically 
um, something going on inside of here that uh, made it pull high amps. Take it off, no problem at all. And that's the end of that story. And while I'm at it, um, for any for any um, any uh, people at home who are just kind of curious about different parts and stuff, uh, this is a capacitor. This is a, let me get my camera in here. I'm looking backwards. This is what they call a dual run capacitor. It has um, three terminals on top. It has a common terminal. It has a terminal for the uh, condenser fan motor outside and a terminal for the compressor. This one is a, uh, a 60 microfarad and a 5 microfarad, 440 volt rating. And uh, <clears throat> just their common brands is not really overly too important. Um, but you can tell this one is bad. I uh, <laughs> I'd actually gone on a call and and uh, the run cap bandit had struck because I opened the panel and, and this capacitor starts falling not this one, the capacitor starts falling out. They had a capacitor strapped in and they had a 10 microfarad or 15 microfarad attached to it uh, running parallel with the other one. This is this is the bad capacitor that the run cap bandit left sitting on the windowsill right next to the unit. And I uh, didn't bother strapping the other one, so I wound up strapping the other one in. But you can tell this is bad uh, without actually ever having to put a meter on it. If you look at the top, uh, you can see it's slightly concave. Um, or is that convex? Convex, sorry. Uh, it's, it's pooch, it's, in English, it's pooched out. You can see usually they're either perfectly flat or slightly concave. And this one's pooched out. So as soon as I open a cabinet, you don't even have to. If, if the thing doesn't fire up, or if uh, something else is going on electrically, and I open it up, and you can do a quick inspection and see, hey, does the cap look good? It doesn't always mean the cap is good, but this is a great indicator, uh, a visual inspection indication. Anyway, that's enough of this clip. Uh, thank you guys. Talk to you later.